almost didn't throw the white flag. I was going to give you one more lap. The nine running on the tires. He'll slide up off a turn of four, Jerry. You've got a new race leader, Matthew Lowe. Your race leader with four laps to go. All right. He told you to tell that joke. <laughs> Welcome. It's three four. It's like the triple Lindy. The triple. Yes, triple the triple Lindy. Lindy. Nice. Rodney Dangerfield. Much like Rodney Both Dangerfield, Both. you get no respect. No, exactly. Oh, no, there's no respect. No respect. No, no, no respect. Now, speaking of no respect, once again, unfortunately, this will be a Jerry podcast. Wow. Oh, we, Jim's we, here. We gotta, I thought we got a break from the last one. There's a warm draft coming in from Omaha, Jerry. Do you feel that? <laughs> oh, no. It's a cold wind from the West. <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the West is back. I feel like the odd man out. I didn't get the memo. Really? Yeah. Mine came in the mail. I had to drive like to the three musketeers alley. all dressed the same. Yeah, the, you, went, you found yours at a bowling Even alley? Even Jim's got one on. <laughs> I drove to a bowling. He's got an older one because he's got the red. I got an older. I got the red. Well, did you and Nate? I almost wore the red one today. The the snappy IMCA windbreakers that we bought for all of our promoters and our staff. Yes. Thank you. A new blue one. You didn't what? what? I didn't get a new blue one like Ryan. Blue. This is is all black. Black. They're just oh. it's the same thing you're wearing. Different logo. It does look a little blue now. You say that on the screen. Really. Yeah, apparently, apparently, Jim, apparently Jim's been a little more hands-on this week, and it's affected his vision. Hands on a <laughs> bottle, maybe. I don't know. This looks blue. No. Yeah, some call it, it a bottle. It's like a shade of it when you some, look at it. Some not call that, it a bottle. That ain't what she not said. Not <laughs> Baby bottle. All righty. Oh. Episode four. <laughs> Last time it was your birthday, and it's somebody. We, now, if correct. You may Decorations. Let's see if it's I yet. kept them out. It kept them out because on today, the 20th of big, March. Big, big day in in the world of IMCA. Yeah, the, we had this surprise part, you know, uh, podcast for my birthday, which was completely unnecessary You're on like February 20th. You're like 73 now, aren't you? It's been a I'm while almost, since I feel, yeah, like I feel like it's been a year. Um, that was February 20th. Today is March 20th. It has been a month since we've done a podcast. You guys have been like, well, you and Jim, Jerry and Jim have been all traveling. over the place traveling to races. I would yeah, it was back. my birthday on the last podcast we technically did, and today is my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, Kathy. She, happy birthday, yes, Kathy. Happy we know she is our number one follower on this. She does. She just likes she, to know She does what's listen. Going on. She does listen. Does she or, watch or, this? She does. She says she does. <laughs> she says they're a little too long for her, though. So I don't think so she watches it. So we can't, we can't drop F, F-bombs because she's listening? You know, that's one. You know, we've talked about this. There's one word I don't really <laughs> want to say. There's a couple that I really don't ever want to say on the podcast. The F word is definitely one of them. My mother, if I, she does not like me saying that word. I'm 52 years old. By I've, the way. I've never heard you say it personally. And, yeah. And she has said to me more than once, Brett, don't say that word in front of me. So it's like one of those. It is a, it is a foul word. It is. Yeah. But I was, I was reading. Oh, I I was, it, they were saying. <laughs> I, I, was a reading lot. A, I was reading. I read a lot. I was reading a story the other day where they had said something about how curse words have become much more normal in our grammar or usage than they had been in the past and the f that word is one of them that ain't no shit yeah <laughs> well you think about it i mean think they about lose what, their what you hear on just if you hear they just kind of, people just kind of throw them in you yeah. know it's like you know oh, and i I, I find myself saying that word way too much but i i don't like saying it in front of my mother even though i do uh, but she does tell me if she don't like it and she does say don't say yeah. that word in front of me brett you know I don't what's like the other word we can't say I'm not going to say that one. We're not even going go. We're not even going there. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's that so, one. So anyhow, it, it has different meaning in different countries. Today is, <laughs> today is uh, is my well, mother's birthday, right? So yes. I wanted I wanted to just touch on first off, I want to tell her happy birthday, and I love her. Aww. Um, she's in Florida with my father. I called her this morning. She didn't answer, uh, which is kind of normal. She and then she called me back and said, "Did she? Their phone was in the kitchen." She was on Carlton duty. She was busy. <laughs> she probably. was taking care of my dad. <laughs> Your dad needed a, my help. Sorry, I left the phone. Thing, yeah. So I just wanted to mention her for 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 those who don't know, because people do obviously know that. Yeah, that's my mother. Most people know, and the only reason I work here is because she hired me, and nobody else would. There's a little bit of truth to that, but um, that's a whole other subject. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about her her history here because i think it's really interesting yeah. you know and because because people ask us you know people ask me a lot oh how, how'd you get into racing well i ended up racing because of my mother which is really kind of odd True. when you say because this is a sport that's just is predominantly male um, we do have a lot of females that are competing 
obviously we have tons of females involved and we do have more and more obviously uh, females that are competing through our lady eagle uh, every year which is very cool but anyhow so that so um in 1967, when Carpac was formed, which was which was the parent company for IMCA, at, uh, it has been. What does that stand for? Is it Consolidated? It's like Consolidated Automated uh, Auto Racing, Racing Promoters. Racing Promoters. Is... No, it's Consolidated. I don't know. Don't put me on the spot. I'm sorry. Like no, I I can never. I've known it. But Brett, I, can't, call, I can never. Call remember. your mom and ask. What's him IMCA yeah, stand for? I can call. tell you that one. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, 67 is when Carpac was formed by Keith Kanak. My mother, he actually bought, Keith had bought IMCA in 1976. And my mother became the first full-time employee for Car Pack in 1976 as well. Um, she had been previously babysitting from, uh, she was babysitting, she babysitted, obviously me and my sister, my, well, both my sisters at that time. Um, my younger sister, I was just yeah. Anyhow, so she, my mom babysitted. She, so she ended up at Car, at Car Pack at IMCA, right, in 1976. Um in in 79 the, the 78 79 the late 70s the modified kind of got going with keith and larry Summerfelt and their and their efforts and my mother's been along every step of the way for that you know and in 1990 she was she was the president and named the president of imca at the time keith had some health problems um and in and when he passed away in 19 he passed away in 1992 um, and then uh, my mother purchased uh, IMCA from from the Kanak family on March first, nineteen ninety six. It was when it was official. Um, so she's she's owned IMCA since ninety six. Um, and then uh, just a couple other things. You know, she was involved with the Super Nationals, obviously from its onset, from its beginning back in the days before it was at Boone, but since it's been at Boone. You know, Boone uh, and and IMCA got the it's right sitting right there the event sh outstanding yep. annual short track event of the year. We keep this on display for a reason. Uh, in two thousand, um, that was awarded. My mother was a part of that. Um, two thousand and eight, if for those who really want to know and remember this kind of stuff, you're kind of like this, Ryan. Two thousand and eight is when my mother bought. Um, into Boone Speedway, half of Boone Speedway, um, when Everett Sather sold his interests to my mother. Everett, a uh, long, long friend of my mother's yep. and still is to this day. And there's another guy that's very been very, I think, uh, instrumental in, in racing in, in central Iowa, for sure, and even trickles into the, his importance in IMCA at the end of the day with his involvement in Boone Speedway. But anyhow... Um, so that was in 2008. She became a co-owner with, with Robert Lawton at, at, uh, at Boone. 2016, the RPM Workshops awarded my mother a, um Outstanding Achievement Award for her 40 years <coughs> of involvement in, in, in auto racing, which um, was pretty damn cool, too. I was there for that. Um, but, you know, f I, I, I officially bought IMCA from my mother. She officially retired on March 15th of 2015. When I purchased IMCA, and it's it's really really hard for me to understand how time. Fl I think everybody's like this. Time sh goes fast. The older you get, the quicker yeah. it goes. Too. Yes, she had owned IMCA for twenty years, roughly. You know, and I've owned IMCA for nine, and and the the twenty years, the last nine years seem so different than the la the twenty years that my mother had I had 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 uh, owned IMCA. Um, it's, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to, t I wanted to touch on, um, her importance to IMCA, her importance to this, to where everything is at. She, you know, she is, she was there from the onset through all the different employees. She did a lot of the legwork. I mean, she, yeah. did, she put in some hours and some hard work to make things go back in the, back and in I, the 70s there, and 80s too. There was a lot of key employees, I think, um, that came and went um, that were in, instrumental. Obviously, Keith, um, for sure. Um, and, you know, I, I worked here in high school. Uh, I, when I started, I think I've told you this, I started IMCA when I was 14 years old. The first, on well, my 20th, well, my 14th birthday. You violate any labor laws? In 1986. No, not 14. No, 20 years ago, it might have been. You wait till 14 to, to work. <laughs> 30 years. So anyhow, so, so yeah, so, you know, Keith and, and my mother and, and again, uh, and ind individuals like Bill Hagland, um, who has passed away now, um, there's just been uh, a lot of, you know, uh, you, you look at Ron F. Kemp, yeah. his involvement. Well, you got Bill Swanzinger. You got our comp directors that have been instrumental in enforcing the rules. 
along the way. My mother's been there pretty much for all, all of them, right up through uh, Dave, who yeah. who started working for us at the Super Nationals and is now our comp director. Um, you know, I mean, and, and, and Jim can attest. Jim started out as, as IMCA Sprint Car Director. He was here well before me and now and mountain region director and mountain region oh, director. Yes, mountain region director. if it was so if, close if, to him if, if you wanted, Omaha. Yeah, Omaha. yeah if you want to know how jim how, how <laughs> jim's dedication he didn't care what he did he just wanted to do something and and now look at how instrumental he has been um to this association as well and i and i still credit my mother for all of this um all of it from her point forward especially from 96 um 95 over when she became president 1990 um, it, it to, was before that to where it's at <laughs> it you know it's she's she's most of our employees that are here that are long-standing employees um besides me um my mother hired um there's just you know there's yeah and like you said ryan she you know i'll go out to california and people will say how's your mother doing you know and and it's crazy the amount of people that that she met and then also, you know, that recognize her for her efforts and what she's done here in a predominantly male male sport. You know, it was run for for many, many, many years since 1990 through 2015 for sure. I think it says a lot about the way that she she ran the place, and certainly it carried over to you. You think of any business that's been in business for 30 or 40 years. You think of the number of people that have worked for IMCA in that time. There really haven't been a ton. I mean, there's a lot of people that if they don't work here anymore. You know, you look at the guy, look at like Tom Herbert for one, you know, he was yeah. here for a long time. I mean, you got Jim that's been yeah. here for two stints. You've got people yep. that are here for, for long periods of time because yep. you know, we enjoy what we do. Yeah. Rick Hefner. Hefner. yeah. Rick Hefner, Hefner was 26 yeah. years. And yeah. Gutowski, who was racing, he is like the first guy to own a uh, IMCA modified, I believe in the state of Nebraska. Yeah, it's N1. And yeah. he ends up our comp director. Yeah. Again, my mother was uh, for every step of that, you know, yeah. I mean, there's just, you know, the, she's just done a really good job at, at positioning everything is where it's at everything happens for a reason and and i think that that one everything happens for a reason and two timing is very important and the timing for for a lot of the things where imca is at today um we're good we're right when the timing came the modified how how it and how it's developed and how we've grown as an association timing has played a big part of that but so has leadership and and a lot of that leadership um again uh, i'm going to credit uh, to my mother you know, so I, I just want to talk about her. I thought I'm pretty. I thought I did well talking about her. Yeah, it's hard not good. to talk about her and get emotional yeah. because she's been such a, a instrumental part in, in obviously in in uh, in IMCA, but also in my life. And and you know, she she had definitely had a different way of doing things. Right. You know, we had moments when I was younger where you know, she, she's she always, she used to tell me she she and I you know she was she used to say Brett, don't burn bridges. You may want to go back across them someday. And I'm like. Yeah, good point, you know, and, and I still find myself in moments, and I know I've done it, um, where I just dynamite the bridge and say, I don't give a shit, you know, and then I go, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know, my mother wouldn't have done it that way, you know, so Jim likes dynamite at times. Um, my tendency is uh, well, he did at work times. In, he did work in uh, pyrotechnics <laughs> for a yes, while. Yes, yes, Jim's he, the did, dynamite. He, did, he did on some firework stands for years. You know, Jim's you, the dynamite guy. <laughs> you're talking about your mom, you know, I worked, I worked here before, too, for Carpac. Dynamite kid. For Hawkeye yep. Racing News, and, and yep. you know, I think you learn as you work at a place, you you come to realize how good of a place you're working at. And I have a great memory of your mom. I know that a lot of people probably do, but I have a history of kidney stones. And it was press day, and I was editor of Hawkeye Racing News, and I was having a kidney stone attack. And IMCA was busy. Uh, the points department was just buried with stuff. I had a kidney stone attack in my office, and your mom told the the points director, Virginia and her assistant at the time to make sure that I got to my doctor when I lived in Waterloo at the time. And they're like, well, what are we going to do about this work? It doesn't matter. You know, you need to get him where he needs to be. And that's, that's a memory I'll always take with me yeah. because that's, that was shows the good heart of your mom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Those are people that work under deadlines and you know, you're used to it, you know? Yeah. It can really drive everything, but right. at the end of the day, we're all people, you know? And mm -hmm. I think, um, I think that she was, she, for the people who know my mother outside of racing, she's, she's one of the kindest people you will ever meet. She is not confrontational. She is not vindictive. She is very, very level-headed on everything. Had always had really good balance. Um, and so I'm really happy that she, is, she impressed a lot of that on me on, uh, through, through working with her. You know, my dad is 
not necessarily like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm probably. Is that what you say? Opposites attract. Yes, yes, yes that exactly. I probably find myself acting like my father at times, maybe. But but no. they, you know, bring a little balance. And and, and I can't, you know, I got to mention again on her birthday that. She's been married to my dad for sixty-two years. I mean, that, Man, that's a, that's that's a that's, long time. That's metal wow. deserving, right that there. Is, <laughs> that is a long time. And I asked her what she was going to do today. She says you're going to hang out at the house. Maybe my dad was going to have a, a get together for her tonight. And I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so he he's going to take care of her, I think. <laughs> Uh, at home for a couple hours tonight with some friends. Um, Will there be a bottle of scotch involved? I'm sure. <laughs> doers. Yeah. Yeah, white label doers is all my dad it's, drinks. It's not too late to catch a flight down there. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we can all still get. Jim, fly over here real quick. Pick yeah. us up. Let's go to the party. But she's, she's coming back in a, in, in a little over a week. She's coming back to Iowa because my, uh, my niece isn't expecting a baby. Um, so they're coming back for for that you know so that's going to be cool so she'll be back for the frost busters she'll, i don't know if she's going to go to boone i think she's going to go to boone for the frost busters so she'll your be back for a few back weeks too? pardon me your dad coming back yeah yeah he has to come back with her i don't know if he can last three weeks without I without her that long well, i don't know that they could he's take three talking weeks. about two, i, I three, don't think two or three weeks in iowa i don't think florida <laughs> could take three weeks of your dad alone yeah, home might not be the same when she got back to it if he was left yeah. his own volition down there yeah, i crazy. remember i met your i met your mom the first uh t- 87 the super nationals is it when she was with hawkeye then yeah it was it just it's crazy how long you know somebody or how long you've been in but yeah like you said she had influenced a lot of what we do today yeah, a lot of people don't know the history with publishing here and the Hawkeye Racing News and the people who aren't, you know, who didn't know necessarily the, the Hawkeye Racing News, the Collector's Journal, the Inside Track, the, oh, the, the public, the, track. The, the yeah, publication. Was, wasn't, there, <laughs> was a, wasn't there like every, a home, like a home bars, garden kind, bars, type post, of magazine yeah. that was bars, published? Bars, postcards. Collector's Journal. Collector's Journals and Antiques and Collectibles. Antiques and Collectibles. It was all there. There was a was lot like, of publishing. Was advertising sales for that. Was that was that like the Antique Road Show yeah, of the magazine Ryan before started. the yeah. Antique Road Show began on TV? Yeah, kind of. Is, is that where the, your love of the Golden Girls came from? My love of no, that, that completely different <laughs> reasons why I love the Golden Girls. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people don't know the publishing. Side How'd you do in the advertising sales? Instrumental was right. on that as well. Yeah. It was. I mean, it was. Advertising sales deal. was yeah. tough 25 years ago. Oh, I can't imagine. I mean, print sales today is virtually non-existent. Yeah. I don't know how people do it. It's an intangible object that's hard yeah. to sell. It's selling ads for newspapers. And again, my, my mother's done all of that. She started as, as kind of, the, like I said, the first employee, but she was a receptionist. She'd answer the phone. She'd sell ads. She'd do page layouts. The publishing side of things was a bulk of, of her responsibilities I think uh, uh, until you get into the 90s or so when IMCA got m- much bigger and, and much more widespread where things just kind of started shifting as the newspaper business obviously went to the to the trash can. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I ugly. think she sold the papers, the publishing side of things, sometimes ooh, mid-25, 20, 2025, 20, 20, 27, t- 2007, I think ish Somewhere she sold the there. publications yeah. um and so it's just imca here now we used to have what 26 people in the building a lot of people in here a couple a dozen people, people in the busy bu- building yeah. it was a very bustling yeah. bustling place <laughs> the yeah, there's days. a lot of people the we got a lot of days. offices here that used to have people in them that you know selling ads doing page layouts doing stuff you know and again my mother oversaw all of that i don't know how you deal with 26 employees god oh. bless god bless anybody who owns a business and has 27 26 27 plus employees it is it is interesting, to it's, say the I least. I can hear it now. Oh, this is uh, Ryan Clark from uh, Collector's Journal. Could we interest yeah. you in a full-size <laughs> ad on page? And, antique yeah. shops and fleas, fleas yeah. and shows is yes. what I... Could, uh, could plus, we, I sold could, advertising for Hawkeye. Could we interest you in a full-spread ad on page 69? Crazy. Crazy times. What else are we going to talk about? Again, uh, happy birthday, my mom. Yes. But, you know, you said not to go back to that, but you said... You've owned IMCA for nine or ten years. A lot of times you learn as you go. His quite possibly the best decision he ever made was the very one of the very first decisions he made as president of IMCA. To hire you? I was his first full time hire. Wow. <laughs> hey, I, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. I think and this rock star is going to my head. Here's yeah, the thing. You are here's a fruity punch. <laughs> let's back up to that, Ryan. Uh-oh. Let's talk about that for a second. Who called who? Oh, here it comes. Did you call? I was in the office working part-time. Who 
Inter- who's when we're, Rick retired, right. Rick Hefner, who was our executive secretary for a long time, yeah, 26, 26 years. years. 26 years. You know, when he retired. You had a staff meeting that day where he, brought, where he mentioned it, and people were looking at me because I was working here part-time. Yeah. And they said, gonna be, are you going to show interest in that? I said, yeah, I might talk to Brett about it. Yep, that's what happened. So was it yeah. me? Was it you me reached that, out. Yeah. I remember we hey, I'm kind of interested We never, in we never. You, you, I made the I'm comment like, when I, he was retiring. I said, that would be a perfect fit for you. Everything happens Everything for a reason. For a yes. Reason. The stars and the moons aligned. Something brought Ryan to IMCA. Something brought everybody to IMCA. <laughs> it was a Just, white... It so was for a, some damn was reason, a, Jerry, you're here. I know. It was a white Pontiac yeah. Grand Prix that brought yeah, you to IMCA probably every was. day. <laughs> Fate. <laughs> Fate uh, had it. Time. Fate. Yeah, so let's talk about IMCA. What's going on? What's going on outside? Well, of, we just got birthdays? done with the, the clash at the coast. A very, very successful yeah. clash yes. at the coast. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, Jerry was down there. Right, you, you didn't go. You didn't go down, Jim. Right? No. Uh, Super Dave. He he. Dave with went. Us. That's right. Nate yep. went. We, Ian yep. Garrett. We scheduled Dave. Byron. Yep. Dave went down. All the IMCA is, TV. People. Is he back yet? I think Dave is on his on his way back still. I think he's taking it one day at a time. Yeah. Well, he did fly, but he he's, did. He's still probably on his way back. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, he's probably I, looking looking for his rental or he's looking for his car out in the parking lot at the airport. <laughs> taking his time. Dave, no, I we like to give Dave such, shit. I think Dave, it was in such a deal. Dave does a great job, and everything seemed to go really well. Obviously, Peyton Peyton does a fan has done a fantastic job. You know, a shout out to Nate, producer Nate, and all the TV crew. Some of the best coverage I, I've seen. They really, really stepped it up and put out a great product. It was great. Yeah, the TV stuff, the TV side of things. Nate, obviously, Garrett, Ian, the people who are directly here, uh, oh, quite often. Um, and then you have Chris with the the platform, Chris Grainer with Rivet. Uh, you know, they just do a fantastic job. You know, they keep reinvesting um, into equipment. We took a production trailer. We've, yeah. we've got a production trailer now. We're taking to, to events. Not all events, but we're taking to um, many events. So, again, we're on the back end of this stuff. They're doing as the absolute best they possibly can at producing S- live streaming for IMCA TV that is – Top notch. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't and, realize what's in that trailer is some of the same stuff that your local TV station uses to do their news right. with. I mean, the like at Super Nationals, what we announce with, with the, we have, we can talk to each other. We can talk to the trailer. They yep. feed us information. I think I it's, mean, so, it's like a, it's like a full on professional production. It is so cool when you and, watch And, like and for Nate to be able to pull this off with Jerry involved is a huge <laughs> shout out to Nate. Yeah, that is a huge he shout out. Overcome some big obstacles to make this happen. I just, Sorry, I did put on some weight. I mean, I'm trying to get rid of it, Jim. <laughs> I just think it's neat when you watch something like the Super Bowl or with March Madness coming up. They always yeah. Ooh, they always good. talk about the people behind the scenes, and they do the producers mm-hmm. and all this, and they give you the cuts back into the truck yeah. and into the booth and that. It looks so similar when they do yeah. it for an IMCA TV broadcast. It's such a, it's such a neat deal. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that really have to know what they're doing. And a couple of key people, obviously, Nate and, and Chris on the platform, you know, they, they steer the quality of uh, the vast majority of all of our broadcasts. And they have standards. I mean, they, they're they setting the bar for yeah. what <laughs> they want. Obviously not if Jerry's announcing. Well, you know, besides the Jerry announcing part, you know. Really? We got sometimes Both you got now. Again, Jim, it. timing. Sometimes you just take what you can get. And yeah. Jerry's in our life for some reason. You know, and I think it's a nouns every now and then. I think it's for what I did in the 90s. <laughs> it's my punishment. Punishment. Wow. Uh, that's so mean. Carl I would Logan. never say that about you, Jerry. You are still my fourth favorite announcer in Iowa. <gasps> oh, I've, I've come up one you position. Yes, you I was fifth first. for years. Yep. Woo-hoo! Somebody, Somebody die? <laughs> Somebody die. No. Okay. No. I no. scared for Thankfully, a no. But yeah, so they, they, on on the streaming side of things, they just do a fantastic job, and and we hope that it shows. I think it does. But you know, from multi camera shots to live timing and scoring, to the quality of the audio, there's just a lot of moving components that Nate uh, steers, and and they really really do their best to, um, 
showcase or, or highlight, you know, just how good IMCA racing can be, you know. It, I think it, I think it, it, you know, obviously I've said it many, many times. I think IMCA racing is some of the absolute best circle track dirt racing you will see anywhere in the United States. Um, and so for us to be able to somehow highlight that, show that, uh, showcase our racers, the quality of the racing, you know, again, look at, look at the clash on the coast. We had a, some fantastic races down there. Who would have thought that 47 stock cars would have went to a place that doesn't sanction stock cars that they've never seen. Right. But when we left that place that, I mean, when other the associ- locals were like, man, yeah, these are awesome. And again, you got to give, you got to give Peyton Taylor credit for that. Um, Correct. You got to give yeah. you got to give IMCA some credit for that. You know, other associations try that kind of stuff and they get six. You know, so you, you, it takes it takes a, a a a volume of race cars. It takes a volume of dedicated racers. There's a lot of things that go into drawing 50 cars to an yeah. event at a track that doesn't even host a division. Um, it just it's it speaks a volume yeah. about all kinds 100 of things. modifieds. Yeah, yeah, we had there right. were 146 different drivers that competed over the four days down there in the two yep. divisions. 517 total entries in a place that just doesn't have that. I mean, yeah. that's, I that's pretty was, impressive. Yeah, and I think you know there was like 14 or 15 states and two uh, Canadian province that were represented down there that week that were there all week. So I'm going to echo what our president said then a couple of weeks ago. The state of the union is strong. And I think the state of the IMCA union and dirt track racing gener- in general is strong. I don't necessarily think that, that Joe Biden is right. But anyhow. Can't sit behind you. Not supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed to mix politics. Yes. Why would you go anyhow. do that? But well, if you don't think an IMCA, it's going to be a bloodbath. Right what would you say, Jim? Yeah. If you don't sanction IMCA, it's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else said There's that. the trigger word yeah. for the week for, other, for those of us who, like, watch and, and get frustrated with politics. Oh. It's hard not to. Why do we? I don't want to talk about it. Sorry I even went there. Shouldn't have. There's two things that don't happen. That and the F word on the yeah. broadcast. Yeah. Well, well, no, three things. Words. Oh, yeah, and, the, and that other word. But, That's why yeah, we, can so, never bring, we can never bring Peter Murphy on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It, mean, it has a little different meeting in Australia than it does in the United uh, States. Yeah. But again, back to back to the clash and Peyton, you know, we had him on the last podcast too on our podcast season, you know, episode two, season three. Uh, on, you know, what is it? I think it was back on February 14th. It was before. It was our Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, it was yeah. our Valentine's Day one. Yeah. Yep. Valentine's. That, that was... Uh, Valentine's. Pey- Peyton does a good job of, of representing himself. Um, he's hard not to... He's He's hard not to like. Yes, he's hard not to like. He's always enthusiastic. He's fun. He's got a great personality. You know, so seeing some of the success, a good part of the success takes takes a a third person is what I call it. You know, somebody that's steering the direction of that of that event or those events. His wife, Peyton. Peyton's a pure promoter. He's not just a race director, a race manager. He's old school promoter. And he fully utilized social media too to promote that event. He had yep. some unique videos and stuff to get word out. He's he was doing it. He's been doing it nonstop yeah. for a year. Yeah, I and mean, you he could, really has. You could rely on the thought that oh, it's the only race around. People will automatically come or they'll automatically watch. But no, yep. he took it next level with his promoting of that. He did some advertising. I know he had some some uh, Clash on the Coast uh, commercials that were playing at the Dome mm-hmm. this year. I mean, he does a lot of, yeah. you know what would you want to say cross pollination however you want to say that i mean you know showing some imca stuff to to people that don't necessarily ha- see it or don't necessarily race it yeah you know which is always good i don't i don't think it ever hurts um or vice versa to be quite honest but anyhow but what else we want to talk more about the class yeah, congratulations to bone larson and dallin murdy for being champions dallin yes. murdy you know familiar Gage, names yeah, gage neal let's see gage neal won twice gage neal won the first Sanctioned feature. Yeah. Um, yeah. Elijah Ziebenbergen won the first sanctioned heat race. And Dallin Murdy won the first sanctioned championship of a series in Florida. For stock cars. For stock cars. And Bowen Larson got a... Got a he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He, he, got, a, he, he got daddy and baby surfboard, he said. Yeah. But Bowen Larson <laughs> is still... Still, first it's bone, not bones. I used to call him bones. And they're like, don't call him bones. It's bone. I'm like, okay. B1. B-O-N-E. B-O-N-E. B-O-N-E, mm-hmm. Bone Larson, right? Yep. He, he knows his way around a racetrack, 
knows his way around modified racing, obviously, former national champion. Um, but he's also still that guy I would not want to get. Oh, I wouldn't want to piss him I would off. not want to get. I don't like him being mad. And he's even, seen him even mad. with the nasty yeah. sunburn. He makes me he had nervous, and I feel oh. like he can't do anything to me, but I like still like, okay, is he going to do something to me? <laughs> you know? He can walk up to you with a smile on his face, and you still might feel a little yeah, threatened. But or he's also a s- yeah. super nice dude. Like, oh, this is going to hurt. Super, yeah. super nice guy. Super nice guy, for sure. You know? But anyhow, don't judge a book by cover. And he drove. He sometimes. drove Tim Kern's car, didn't he? Yeah, Marsha. Yeah. He Marcia, drove Marsha's Marcia's car. car. Yeah. Marsha. Tim was just there to handle the gotcha. surfboard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and 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 Murdy's no stranger to yeah. winning championships or events. Never won our national championship, right? No. No. One he's a, just he's not a, dedicated to weekly racing. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. won a lot. He yeah. needs bonus points. He's he's yeah. one of those guys that could probably win our national championship if he's dedicated himself to yeah. two racetracks. But he he floats around with his dad a lot. Yeah, and he floats around between and the modified and the stock car. You correct. Know, he races, there's nights he doesn't race both and races anything with wheels. Mm-hmm. They pretty, you get like race lawn mowers in their yard at the Murdy house. <laughs> Well, Dana will be the next one in, won't she? Um, she was actually... She's, already, she, she's she was, already spent some time behind the wheel, hasn't she? she? Uh, yeah, at, our, at the practice at Marshalltown, oh, it was oh. funny because they come on the radio and they said, hey, Damon wants to take Dana out and turn a couple laps. I'm like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so they go out there and they switch and all of a sudden, next thing you know, lap number two, I can, I'm can i standing in the flag stand, I hear Damon go, get to the top and go faster! And she's... And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> And I didn't, you know, we thought there for a while she wasn't going to get in a car, but now I think she's, uh, oh boy, I think it's she, she took now. a golf cart full send off the top of turn four at Marshalltown with me in the passenger seat. Oh, I, she, I remember. She, yeah, she's going to be in a race car one. Yeah. Oh, and another name I wanted to mention too is the, is the Fitz kid. Was it Trevor Fitz? Trevor, Trevor yeah. Fitz, yeah. yeah. California transplant plant living here in central Iowa. Mm-hmm. Goes all the way to Florida and wins one. He almost wins yeah. two. Could have won two, yeah. didn't he? Well, he was going to win right. the second one, but had some mechanical trouble. Correct. Yep, broke or something. Yep, late in the race. Mm-hmm. And, and he, he had a huge lead. I mean, he was he was going to win that thing again. That, to me, that that speaks volumes about IMCA racing. Again, you take a kid from California who moves to Iowa, who drives to Florida with a hundred other IMCA, mm-hmm. IMCA modifieds from all over, and he wins. And yeah. people, I'm not, I'm sure that I'm sure there's a race fan or two of them out there. there. Who's that guy? Oh, same you know? with Isaac Malico. Yeah. Isaac Malico or Mitchell Opatic. Yeah. Know? yeah. I, mean, I didn't know that guy until yeah. he won, you know, and that I, was crazy. You know, Isaac, obviously for those that, that go to Boone or around central, I, you know, Isaac from his dad and, Jason and, you know, I mean, yeah. So there's a little bit of recognition for, for Isaac, but he, you know, but what the still second year in a modified. Yeah. He, was yeah. Good second, yeah. 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 he won a modified feature before. Yeah. They know what they're yeah. doing. Had yeah. He, he did, uh, Somewhere I was at last year. So yeah, one. he did pick up Boone one. But this Stewart is, yeah, I mean, or... brand new car this year yeah. and fourth night out in it. Yep. You know, competitive, you know, there was a couple nights of practice, but the fourth night competitive race and gets a, gets a win. Against you know, a hundred other cars. I mean, Sir Lawrence, I mean, yeah. Cool. yeah, Sir Lawrence. That he's never been to. 50 hours from Port Hardy, oh, British Port. Columbia, Canada to Pensacola. He, he goes everywhere. Every I time know. my Facebook, he's one of my Facebook friends, right? And so, you know, he, I'll turn it on. Every time I got a picture of him, he's got his bare feet up on some chair somewhere <laughs> with a glass of wine and a plate of fish or something. And I'm like, snacking on an apple. Good Lord, I want to like travel with him for like a month. Oh, but I think I would. I think I would. I think I would end up. Live with it. I think I'd end up divorced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Brett will start having to call you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sir Brett. Well, why did you have to call him that? Well, he had to get knighted, so he couldn't go to jail. <laughs> good times. Good times. Oh, well. well. So what else besides Clash on the Coast? What else you got, Jim? You know, we, we got a race in at Park Jefferson up in Sioux City. It's hard to believe. Yeah. What, three weeks ago now? It's crazy. Well, it was, a sa- it's it was a Saturday, the Clash on the Coast, because I, yeah. I was watching it. We were there was a bunch of us watching it there before the the races started at uh, yep at uh, Southern. That was before wall or fall and eventually winter is hitting right. Three weeks <laughs> yeah, yeah, winter yeah. hits yeah. tomorrow winter again. Hits it's tomorrow. winter. What's winter? Oh, well, yes. it's a little winter. We out didn't really winter. have one. So we, we sprung it. I mean, it was kind of wintery winter. out there today. Huh. I saw the meme. It says we sprung ahead too. so far that we Went got right to winter. winter. <laughs> How many cars did Park Jefferson have, Jim? They had a ton, didn't they? Like a hundred thirty-one. Yeah, I think right in right in that range. And I mean, just the, the place was packed, absolutely packed. Um, you know, Wayne did a great job with that show. The track was as good as you could possibly have gotten it. 
And, uh, I mean, it just showed guys wanted to race, plain and simple. And fans wanted to see racing. And, once again, that's all a good sign that we got drivers and fans, you know, that are ready to go. Now, if we could just get a little bit of weather. Yeah, Wayne Becker. <laughs> I, met, I met Wayne at Super Nationals last year. Um, and, you know, it, it, super, super good guy. Oh, guy. oh yeah. Him and great Amy guy. are awesome. You know, he's, he, he's really ambitious. He has really good ideas. You know, and he's the kind of guy that you like to see running racetracks, to be quite honest. And and to see Park Jefferson's first race like that, I'm like, what, they're racing in Park Jefferson? I, I don't know where I was at. I, was I in Abilene? I'm not sure where I was at. I'm like, no, nah, because no, we talked about it. And I can't remember. I because Jim had said, I'm like, where Jim's like, oh, I'm driving to Park Jefferson. I talked to you that Saturday. It was a Saturday morning. Yeah. It was a day race. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, I'm on my way to Park Jefferson. And then he called me at like, I don't know, it was like six, maybe seven. Oh, I'm on my way home. And you're on your way home. And I'm like, I, when you call midday, mid, mid evening on a Saturday call from Jim to me is usually like, okay, what's going on? And he's like, oh, I'm going, I'm going home. I'm like, you're going home already? And he's like, yep, we're done. Yeah. Well, he called me Saturday morning. It was a great show. He a lot called, of good things said yeah, about Park He called Jefferson. me Saturday morning and said, oh, I don't know where I'm going to stop for a sandwich. I go, where are you at? <laughs> I said, you understand, hot lap start in 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I realized last night at 1130 they were going to be racing at 1. <laughs> I thought if I left at 4, I'd be there in plenty of time. I'm thinking I, it's, it's, you know, we're starting at 6 or something like that. You know, it was about 1130. I, I, better, I better double check. Holy shit, gates open at 10. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where'd you stop? Where, a, where did you end up stopping for lunch? I can't remember. What did we? Uh, did you? Chester's. Oh, that's chicken. right. You got chicken. That's right. You yeah. got chicken that day. Little chicken, chicken strips. At on, was it on or on Sloan? There yep. you go. At the Cubbies. Yes. <laughs> on Yeah. But no, it was it was a great show. I mean, mm-hmm. I it was just you know it was just kind of throws my system off you know because we raced and then. You know, we don't have anything else really scheduled until last weekend. Now this weekend with the actress. I think the coldest I've been this whole winter so far is when I went to Abilene, the icebreaker. It was chilly. I was out Friday and I was like, oh my gosh, it was freezing. Well, I mean, there was was that three days in January (laughs) where it was sub-zero here. But yeah, I mean, as far as that, that was, it was cold that week. It was brutal. Oh, timing is everything because the next week after Abilene, I was down at KSP. And it was good. Yeah. Mid-70s. I was down in Waco uh, last, what was it, last weekend? Two weekends ago mm-hmm. now almost. I went down. I was going to go to Waco's uh, Friday night show, and then I was going to go over to KSP on Saturday night. I had plans to go to both racetracks, and, and we drove down on Thursday, and it they had rained out. It rained out Waco, I think, first thing the next morning. They made the announcement, yeah. and then they, they canceled KSP's Friday night show, and then they turned around and canceled the World of Outlaws on Saturday, yeah. on Friday evening. So I, I had plans to go to, to races down there, and it rained. So, but they're going to run the Outlaw Show at KSP Saturday, this, this Saturday, the twenty third. Yep, along with Southern Sport Mods. I don't think the Sport Mods are sanctioned, but no, nah, I right. think it's a, it's a limited field. Yeah, like an invite kind of deal. Yep, if I remember correctly, I've seen some of James's yep. uh, posts on Facebook about that. Yep. Hopefully, that turns out okay for KSP. Another racetrack that's owned by very very good people that oh the best that support racing like no other that are that the sport really, really values or should value. Jay and Jerry Brandt and some, and, you know, Jenna. And I mean, it's yeah, just. Their whole family's involved. Great people. I love, love going down to KSP just because it, it's so much fun. It's like, it's not even work. You know what I mean? You're hanging out with them and yep. in that. And it's, it, it makes everything so easy. We raced in. I think they raced in Bakersfield last week, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to talk about some yep. of this other stuff. I think I'm, some of this is in my memory. Bakersfield raced last weekend. Ventura Bakersfield. raced. Bakersfield. They raced down in Arizona. They wrapped up the. Yeah, they're still Arizona, been racing in Arizona, Arizona since tour. January. Yep. You know, and they're still doing the Arizona tour stuff, or they just finished that just out. Finished they just up. just finished it. But like Merce, uh, uh, not Merced, but I was going to say uh, Vert- Ventura. Ventura race. Yep. I saw in the race. They've got results. a couple shows in. Ran Sport Compacts. Yep. For the first time, I believe, right? Close to, you know, I would, I'd have you, to say so. You might be right. I think it's the first time they've run sport compacts there, and it was the largest division of cars. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I don't know. There's another place I just love. Jim Naylor is such a oh. such a good guy. If I could hang out with him all the time, I haven't seen him in years. 
Like, well, I mean, it is it is the racetrack with the best view. I mean, it's right. Yeah. There at the, I mean, Ventura oh, right on before. the ocean. We've talked about it. Ventura, Bakersfield ran ran a race. Uh, had pretty decent car counts. Not, not spectacular, yeah. but decent, respectable stock cars and sport mods and mods. Waco's got a couple of shows in real good sport mod, Southern sport mod count. Yep, stock cars too. Yeah. No, I think I think everything's and off to a, a good start. You know, I'm. You I hear the doom and gloom, but. I don't know if we're necessarily seeing it. I think it's had, really early too, though. I mean, yeah. series. I think we've had about seventy events sanctioned this year. Looking crazy? at things, we got twenty this weekend alone. Yeah, so things are picking up. It's not even April first, and we've got seventy races in already, which is just un, un, unheard of. You know, if you go back again, when I started here, we didn't really start doing anything until the frostbusters around here. Right. It's kind of when it felt like yeah. racing started was like the first week in April. Yeah, I mean before well, before we always had TV we always had Beatrice. Yeah. yeah, you always yeah. you you knew in the Midwest it started with Beatrice and yep. then it went from there. The first race I ever went to representing IMCA was Beatrice Spring Nationals. Well, that's because back it was close to back house. in the late seventies. Yeah, in the late late seventies. What late were you forty six at that time? <laughs> <laughs> and Beatrice so was his retirement oh. job back <laughs> in the late seventies. <laughs> Beatrice is racing this weekend. Yep. Is it Beatrice yep. or Beatrice? Beatrice. Beatrice. Just like Why it's Alta, that? not Alta, and it's Buena Vista, not Buena Vista. Why is that? Yeah, Buena it's spelled Vista. like Beatrice. Right. Well, yeah, it's spelled like it's, it's yeah. Like, if you look like at Beatrice. it, it's Beatrice. If your name, if you were named at that, risk. it would it's be like Adele it would be and Beatrice. Adele. Yeah. But if they say Beatrice. Rumor has it. <laughs> so if you were named Beatrice. Beatrice, you'd be called Beatrice, but it's called Beatrice. See, this is back to that Alta, Alta thing. Mm-hmm. Like That's very true, Mr. Root Root. Yeah, exactly. It's root like foot. <laughs> root, root like foot. Yeah, but I've like heard you foot. introduce yourself as root before. I, 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 I've heard people, you say Brett root. Brett root for people that because I'll say Brett root and they'll be like, spell that. Are you R U T T? And I'm like, no, R O O T, root. Root. So I'll say when root. people R O U T E root. We took this root down the other yeah, day. Yeah, when I'm talking to people who don't know me and I just say Brett root, you know, because everything it's what is it one syllable or first name one syllable? It, it's, they say it's, it flows better this, it, if your last name and first name have the same number of syllables. Right. Well, it's to me it's short. Is it like Brett root? And they're like root. what? Yeah. I got to slow down when I say it, Brett root. 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 root root like boot. Yes. What's your name, Brett? Well, not root like you. foot. <laughs> right. It's a foot, not a foot. A foot. A foot. <laughs> In a creek, not a creek. In the English language, which clash is so creek. confusing. Clash at the creek. No, it's clash at the creek. It's so confusing. It's the hardest language in the world it to is. learn. Actually, to it be honest is. with you, it, it, it is. That's, that's what because they say. there's so many different so many variations. And, and variations. Yeah. This kind of crap. Yeah. yeah. Be it Beatrice? No, it's Beatrice. Boyer, Booyer. Exactly. Boyer, Booyer. Although Mandarin's no, supposed to be like, Yeah, tough like Boyer. Too, can, depending on where you're at, it's B-O-Y-E-R. Like out in Western Iowa, it's the... Boyer River, and it's Boyer. But if you go to some other state, it's Boyer Creek, uh, not Creek, but yeah. they're spelled different. Anyhow, Osceola, Osceola. Yeah. What else we Nevada, got? What else Nevada. we gonna talk about? We potato, don't potato, potato, <laughs> tomato, <laughs> tomato. We done with potato. events. We done talking about. Yeah, events? I, think, I think that's really about all we've gotten in. You know, yeah. of, of course, you know, we 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 touched on Beatrice coming up this weekend, and you know, once again, it's they're in such a hard spot. They want to do whatever they can to get a show in. And, uh, you know, I've been on the phone with, with Tommy constantly and, you know, they're watching the weather, they're, they're making plans. Um, they got thrown and run over by a bus, but you know, the race is still on and that that's the main thing we need everybody to know. It, it's still on and they're going to do everything they can to get that race in. At the end of the day, you know, again, we, you mentioned it a little bit, and I don't want to talk about it too much, but at the end of the day, you know, the promoter makes the calls um, on events for the most part. Uh, they make the calls on, on the events, and when you have forecasts and everybody in everybody on Facebook's a weatherman, mm. you know, there's just oh, – it's a very challenging situation to be in. If you're, if, a no-win you know, if situation. Had, yeah. yeah, if we had indoor racing and, and we never had to worry about rain, we never had to worry about um, – sun you know the issues that's created just by the elements uh, yeah. outside the sport would probably be a lot easier but it'd probably be a lot more boring in my yeah. opinion as well so i think the elements also create some of the um atmosphere that that dirt track racing is you know not just you know hey it's sunny or hey it's windy or hey it's cold yeah. but the, the track conditions and just some of the way that 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 the tracks play out 
a little bit is weather dependent. You have some areas where um, the ground saturation, saturation, no saturation. Matter what, saturation. Yeah, that's a fancy word. That English it. language is pretty tough. <laughs> How much it rains, yeah. um, or even a place like Ventura, which is right on the coast. Um, well, high, t- yeah. high tide, the, the, well, the tide affects um, it. Florida we, we probably. In Florida, you know, when the tide pushes in. I mean, being that yeah. close to the the Gulf, when you could you could feel it. Yeah, you know, and those are a lot of things that factor into well, what happens. It makes it makes the racing what it is. You know, again, and, I st- I still think that that yeah, it's good for a, a a racetrack to be like perfect surface and not a bump and all that other kind of stuff. But I think it can make for some pretty boring racing if you aren't careful. Mm-hmm. I like racetracks that have maybe a little bit of character. Okay. Character. Like, yeah. if you could just put, like, a, a cone in turn one and make people <laughs> race, race around it or maybe one in the middle of three and four right in the middle of the track and you can't touch that cone or you get disqualified, think how more interesting racing would be. And Sometimes that's a car. It <laughs> spins out and you Correct. just race around it. <laughs> Correct. And it and, makes and for it those of you he'll, get, he'll, he'll get going. Just keep racing. <laughs> it makes, make it makes the racing. Hero. It makes the racing, yeah. it makes it interesting, and the track surface plays into that and the elements, uh, all of that stuff. But, yeah, well, Be- you Beatrice know. has got a, you know, a, not the best forecast ahead of them, but like any racetrack, they, with a, that, the Spring Nationals for Beatrice has been an annual event for us f- since before I was born, I think. It's probably going on close to 30 years. It, it is. I oh, still yeah. have I Like still I said, I, that was the first race I ever went to for IMC. Yeah. Yeah, and I still have some fond memories of the place. And again, when Scott Hogan was on for my birthday episode, he brought up yeah, he brought oh, up the, the pizzas and the, the Spring Holiday Nationals and sitting and sitting at the Holiday Inn Express eating frozen pizzas yeah. with his family because because the race snowed out that year. Well, yeah, that was Uh-oh. like you know, speaking of that, we were down well, we there. didn't go home. We yeah. stayed there because well, okay, well, maybe it's going to be better tomorrow. Yeah. And we stayed, and then we got man, yeah, it wasn't better. And and they canceled. To, and I, we went I, home. I, yeah, I went to Beatrice <laughs> in the snow. I've Jake Left Picker in the snow called on the hotline. And, <laughs> but uh, that was another, you know, talk about them stories. Like Dave, well, Dave Ball that used to race stock car, which is Jason Malacote's father-in-law. Isaac's, right. he, we were, we were T. He goes, man, remember them days back in Beatrice at the old Victorian? We sit out there till the sun come yep. up. And I go, yep. And I said, it 25 degrees, but we just, you know, it was, uh, it was yeah. such a good time. Getting back to or Malico. The, or the brass rail. The brass rail, yeah, and Tronic beating everybody up. <laughs> yeah. Again, back to Malakote, Isaac, just real quick. Surround yourself with good people and good things happen. Mm-hmm. Look yeah. at that. I mean, you got Dave Ball. Yeah. Who's, you know, I got stories about Dave Ball. Oh, the 81B. I didn't think I was going to get out of the Super Nationals alive one year after we disqualified Dave Ball. Ooh, I remember that. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I um, bet you, you I probably went, remember a little different. I went I across the street. I might have told this story once already. I went across the street to the Denny's. Was that Denny's right there? It is. Oh, right? it was the old Country Kitchen. Country Kitchen. Yes. I went across the street and ate at the Country Kitchen. After the races. And that's where they always went, no matter what day of the week it was. Yeah, and it, I can tell you with with 100% certainty, it is the last time I ate at the Country Kitchen in Boone <laughs> at, during Super Nationals. Never happened again. I went that's in why there, they closed it down. I went in there, and I thought I was I, I was legitimately scared to death. His car owner wanted to absolutely Oh, I'm trying to remember who that was. my ass. What did you DQ him for? Trailing arms. I do remember that. And but I can't remember the gentleman's name. It's my mind just went blank too. But I, I see I Dave at the races. I can see, I can see. I, I know the guy you're talking about. He I comes out him. to me. We still see each other at the races. He's still at the race all the time. I oh, can't yeah. believe I can't remember his name. Um, but he says hi, and I say hi. And we You've probably laugh. blocked it out of your mind. <laughs> yeah, he's probably. yeah he's, he scared his name right out of my oh, mind. Oh no, that's not that guy. He was he, he was scarier looking than that. <laughs> that was one of those deals where we were staying at the Super Eight, which is right beside there, right? Which is I, yeah. So for those of you who've been to Boone, I mean, the the, the board we're talking about to give you an idea is the Pizza Ranch. Yeah, it's old. That's that's, used to that's be country yeah, kitchen. That was the old country. They're right kitchen. beside the Super Eight where and we stay every night after the races. Yep. So we stay at Super Eight. We like my oh, hey, let's walk over, let's walk over to Country Kitchen. Went over there and sat down, and they came in and sat down, and and I was like, oh my god. When we got done eating, no no joke, I snuck out the side of the building <laughs> and went around the backside into my hotel as fast as I could get in there. I swear, I thought they were going to wait outside for me. I've never been, never been. I've had some moments where I've been a little bit nervous. Were you by yourself? Were you by yourself? No, I had my wife with me. I mean, you're, <laughs> I, I, you're I, like hiding out in the like, tower. Come on, let's go. Like, she's she's easy to spot. I, I can be inconspicuous if I have to be, but it's hard to hide my wife. Yeah. 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 But anyhow. Yeah, because at that time. He's over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. No, that's usually not what she's saying. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, that, that was, a lot of times it might be the word we can't the say. Never, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the things you never forget. Oh, but anyhow, Dave Ball, what a good guy. What else are we talking about? But, you know, get back to this Beatrice deal. You know, last week, you know, a lot of people, I, I think, were trying to throw Beatrice under the bus a little bit. But what they didn't realize, I think, Sunday afternoon going into Monday, there was five inches of snow on the track at Beatrice. I, you and I talked about that because you told me it snowed over there. Yeah. I said, There's no way. And then I I can't remember who else I talked to. They said, oh, yeah, we had to shovel our sidewalk on Sunday. Yeah. Screw that. Yeah. Five inches of snow in uh you know, and it was wet they, snow. They, it they wasn't like they, it was... yeah, they couldn't get a, a tractor around the track with a cheap foot on Tuesday when they canceled. And you know, people, how can you cancel? It hasn't rained or anything like that. Well, when you can't pull a tractor around the track, it's a little wet. Yeah, and then you know, with a eighty percent chance of storms on Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday, pretty easy decision. Yeah, the but track what, is just damned if they do, damned if they don't in yeah. some of these situations, you know, and no matter what you, decision you make in somebody's mind, it's not going to be the right one. Yeah. But at the end of the day, racetracks are, and the people running them, generally speaking, want the same thing that the racers want, and that's, a, you know, they want they want to have a good race, they yeah. want to have a good race surface, they want people there, you know, they want everybody to have a good time. Yeah, you know, on and on and on, you know, and, and the spring nationals and Beatrice has always been kind of known for that. So, you know, it's tough to see them put in a situ this situation and they're going to gut it out as long as they possibly can and do yeah. the best they can. Why wouldn't I, they? Yeah, I don't care if it's Beatrice or Boone or right. Ventura right. or, or, you know, the clash of the coast having to make schedule and make changes. I mean, a lot of stuff, it, it's no different than a racer making a change on their car. You sometimes have to throw an audible out there, and it's not yep. always going to be the best for everybody. But at the end of the day, you know, we all look at how, you know, we're looking out for everybody. How can we make this be enjoyable for everybody that is going to be able to make it? Yeah. Last week in Waco when I was down there, the, the they canceled Waco at about like 10 a.m. in the morning or something like that, and it was miserable out. It was not very nice. And, yeah. and it wasn't raining really at that point. I think it had finished raining, but it rained from – from Kansas City to Waco at the time when we drove down there. It was raining everywhere north of there. Um, and so so at like 7 o'clock, I think, about when they normally start racing in Waco mm -hmm. Friday night, it was one of the nicest nights I've seen yet this year. It was just absolutely beautiful out. But they had to cancel because of, of what was on the ground already. Yeah. You know, and you just you shake your head in those situations and go, oh, yeah. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's looking up and saying, why aren't we racing? But, you know, they, they, they make the right decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. John, John and Nikki Webb and Ardmore were faced with the same right. type of circumstance. The yeah. ground was saturated. They were calling for two days of rain. You know, they, they did what they thought they had to do to make the best decision possible. Yeah. You're talking about weather forecasts and stuff like that. I remember back when Jerry Blue promoted Independence years ago, and the National Weather Service pulled their Waterloo office. They closed it, and he used a lot of the reports out of that office on what he was going to do on race day. So there was a big to-do about how am I going to make these decisions on race day 20, 25 years ago, how far we've come in yeah. that time when it comes to making decisions based I, on I, information that we have at our fingertips. I remember yeah. when promoters would call the flight the the flight weather yeah. service, like at the local yeah. airport, or there was a number, yeah. right. you know, you could call and you would talk right there with the... You can get the weather the reports, NOTAMs, yeah. I think that they call them. Notams. Yeah, but this is like back in the early, you know, mid-90s, and they were calling, yep. you know, flight service. Yep. And, you know, back then, you know, you, you, you might have... I know promoters that had an old DTN, which was... You know, a far, you know, farmers use that to watch things, and they'd have, yep. you know, that was the most precise thing you could get easy. back then. Yeah, look at how easy it's all become for us now to become weathermen. Oh, all you got to do is put exactly. your glasses on upside down. Internet meteorologist here, everybody, and yeah. it's going to rain sometime. <laughs> it rained over here out of the back of the water truck. Uh, you know, you said you surround looks yourself like with good people and yeah. good things oh. will happen. When is it going to happen, Brett? When is it going to happen? That looks like Once a again, a big shout out to Nate for pulling this stuff off. <laughs> Oh, Internet. where did it, you get that? A skit from well, there a was, I can't remember. It was one time last year. Oh, there year was they, something they, on TikTok. It was, on... it was something. And then all of a sudden, everybody, there was a, I can't remember what night it was. It was raining and everybody was, a, you know, it was on the internet, you know, on Facebook. And then I just was like, sent a snap. Internet meteorologist here and it's raining somewhere. Put your glasses on upside down. Yeah. 
TikTok. Looking at it through in the good eye. You have TikTok? I don't have TikTok. I, I've I, never posted, but I follow stuff or I, I watch don't have, stuff. I don't online. even ever look at it. My daughter does, but same with Snapchat. Yeah, the only thing I like on Snapchat is you can make all those faces. The on filters. Your, oh, my gosh. My wife puts, we, we that's how we entertain Yeah, her, that's so the only she good She puts faces on yeah. me. <laughs> uh, I've seen some of your Snapchats. Yeah, you're right. That, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. You stop. have not seen my Snapchat. I don't want Ryan's <laughs> phone in my hand. Uh. <laughs> oh. Or what's on it either. But that's another story for a different time. Oh, good Snapchat's time. Snapchat's fun. TikTok's fun. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're all just, great. They're just, it's when like used Facebook, correctly. It's like Facebook Reels. They're just absolutely sucky. You can get you lost in it for hours. They are so unproduct- unproductive. Oh, came back, we came back from Wisconsin this last weekend, and Jackie says, I'll drive for a little bit. And I mean, I literally was like, oh, I'll check my face. And like an hour later, yeah. she goes, um, how many Reels are you going to watch? And I'm like... I didn't realize it went down the wormhole, and we went 120 so miles. And half of the shit on there is yeah. so stupid, but yeah, you can't what, get away from it. That's what's so fun about it. That's what's so fun about it. Yeah, yeah. Like people really do this stuff. Yeah. And they, they make money off of it. Yeah. <laughs> There's some people that get paid people for that, that. Yeah. Do you ever look at them, though, and go, is that real? Some of them aren't real. You can tell that they're AI, but you watch some of them, you just go. Oh, and a lot. Of, some of them are like reality TV shows started as right. not scripted, and now they're yeah. scripted, or they have an agenda of, okay, this one's going to be about, this is what we need to do, and... Here, we're going to hire these four people to run different camera angles. Yep. What else? Licenses? You want to talk about licenses? Oh, get yeah. them. Buy them. Well, yeah. you know. We I, have made it I, as absolutely easy as, uh-oh. Jim, go ahead. Oh, that's. <laughs> what? Is that Jerry selling licenses? What's with the background? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Jerry's character that he just went into a Actually, little bit ago. Oh, look at man. him. You don't look well, Jim. You look a little pale yeah, compared yeah, to yeah, what's... Me, yeah, Jim. You look ghostly almost. I actually... I, I know where that picture's from. I think that's from me and Wade at the State Fair at the Rattlesnake Corn Dog Stand. I know that's where that's from. Okay. I'm but pretty back sure the is. license. Back the license. <laughs> You're the one that put the picture up there, and that's not where you go to buy your license. You go to I am. It's easy. We have Just made it as easy as it possibly can be. You can do it on your mobile device, standing in the pit line, you know, so... If you're getting ready to go to Beatrice or Beatrice, yeah, you could go like this. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm need to, can I see your license? I just, I just, you buy it, right you here. buy it online, and it gives you a notification that a verification that you've, you've, you've bought it. You use that as your receipt. Good to go. You know, the, the, I think we've talked about this a, a lot, and, and I think, I think a good subject right now is, is insurance. I mean, we've talked about this. Absolutely. We, we had, we had a racer already this year break his neck. In a sanctioned division, so um, you know, obviously, we wish him the uh, all the best. Hopefully, he recovers fully, a hundred percent. But these things happen; they really do. And and one of the benefits that that we work very diligently and have for decades is is a supplemental insurance. Insurance that is it's secondary, but it's 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 additional to a track policy. So in conjunction. It, 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 at the very least, it provides the, the IMCA member with um, a, a reasonable amount of protection for, for most of the type of accidents that we see happening. Yeah. Um, so it's in, their be- it's in everybody's best interest. And at the end of the day, if, if, if you're at an IMCA sanctioned event, you, you dodge the license at the first event because you, you think you can buy a temporary or because another association <laughs> offers a temp, um, but no insurance with the temp. Um, if, if you do that uh, and you get hurt, uh, the insurance is not there. You know, we can't retroactively go back. Um, believe it or not, we've had people ask these kinds of things because it's yeah. happened, you know. So um, I raced there, get your license. Get your license. It has benefits. It, obviously, you, you know, you, you can do it in line at the pitch shack. It's, it's just it's an, it, we don't charge any more if you if you if you wait till June first. It doesn't matter if you race one time or or one hundred times. What about March fourth? It is, is it, does it cost any more on March fourth? It does not go up twenty bucks or fifty bucks after the first of March or anything like that. It's okay. the same all year round. We try to set That's that. That's good price. to know. Yeah, and when you buy it online too, it goes out that day. It I does. mean, it's, there's yeah, a you quick turnaround. With instant, with Virginia you get an instant receipt. Right. Yep. You you automatically get verification, but you know we we you know on Monday when when Kim and Virginia and Whitney and everybody comes to the office, you know they're processing licenses, and quite a few of them on from over the weekend. Obviously, most of our racing's over the weekend, so we have a lot of people that buy them on Saturday. 
Um, you know, but the packets go out. We're keeping up with packets. Um, driver packets have been going hey, out. Since the NCAA like, tournament's about ready to start. It's time to do packets. Well, we we started them the first week in January this year. We didn't want to wait until the NCAA tournament anymore. Uh, so that, we, that's crazy. Everybody's talk. been getting their it's a packet bracket. Every the packet bracket. <laughs> Bracket packet. <laughs> we could talk about that too. Uh, have they? Has the, has the brackets come out yet? I'm like, a, oh yeah, they had play the, the playing games were already happening. Yeah, are they? Yeah. Anyhow, I've, some Cinderella I've, stories already. Ah, uh, not really. From a play from the playing games last night. Um, no, the, the so get your ball, licenses. There was no. There was. I no saw something. I thought I saw get your licenses. Now let's talk basketball. Well, you know, Virginia once again, uh, a lot of people That's think, right. oh, you get a one week grace period. Um, oh, no, no, because no. you could get hurt week one. You know what I mean? And and, and once a, again, it's for the driver's protection as much as anything. Correct. It's it's one of the best benefits that we yeah. offer. Ask your spouse. And we're able yeah. to, I mean, it really is one of the reasons why, again, let's talk mod light racing a little bit. It's one of the reasons why the Mod Light Association, when I was dealing with Jimmy May and Stars, is one of the things that they wanted. They wanted to be able to provide a, something like that to their members. But the problem is they couldn't. They couldn't provide something like we provide just because of the sheer volume of people we deal with. So we were able to pull the Mod Light division in, offer benefits that they weren't ever able to get before. Um, and I think, we're seeing the, I think we're seeing the results of that now. Again, we're adding sanctions. Um, I think we just added all over the country track in Delaware. Was it in Delaware? Yeah, we've got a new track in Delaware. We've got uh, new tracks in Missouri, Tennessee, Florida. We're in 14 states now with For just mod light lights. Reason. Just wow. mod lights. It's, 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 it, and I said this last time, it's just showing very similar, similar path to what Race Saver, I think, um, demonstrated when, when we got associated with French Grimes and Roger Hayden in the, in the 305 Race Saver uh, division. So, you know, mod light racing is sure seems to have a lot of traction right now. We're talking to some tracks in Canada uh, as well. You know, so yeah, I mean, the benefits as an as a as a IMCA member are are shouldn't be overlooked. We'll put it that way. It's it is it is something that if you're going to turn laps racing um, in IMCA, you should get your license before you hit the track. Don't wait. The till cheapest after. insurance you can ever buy. Yeah. I mean, if you think you're hurting, if you think you're hurting the racetrack or the sanctioned body by not buying that, you're you're hurting yourself if you get hurt. So, buy them. Correct. We check for them. Get your license. So, licenses. What else do you want to talk about? Upcoming events. We talked a little well, bit about. Frost yeah, we got we got a bunch of stuff upcoming. Uh, you know, there's, you know, other things that are up in the air right now, so to say. Um, but, you know, we've, we've got a lot of events coming up. We talked a little bit about the actress, you know, this weekend. And then coming up after that, you know, we get into the, you know, Batesville. They're, what is it, Wimp Reed? Oops. Yeah. They're, 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 they're spring, their big spring kickoff is always yep. that, that weekend. That, that's coming up. And we also got. Yeah, it's on IMCA TV. IMCA TV. And then you got, you know, you got places like Bloomfield, Maquoketa. In the Sunflower Classic at Hayes, which once again for the first time will be on IMCA TV. IMCA TV. Yep. Be busy, so, Nate. Yeah, I know it. Gonna be busy sitting there watching and quality controlling. Yeah, IMCA I wonder TV where is have where's more. Nate gonna be? Nate's here. He's here. Nate's here. He's somebody. Gar Garrett's somebody's going got to Batesville. A, somebody's got a somewhat. Man hold all this Direct together the from traffic yeah, from and put here. the fires out. Nate's kind of that guy, you know, calling he, the shots he, from Vinton, calling the shots from the big city. Yes, it is a big city, but we're gonna oh, whoa, 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 what? for those who uh, we all got quiet for a second. That's because Nate can talk to us, and you can't hear us if you're listening to the podcast. You can't yeah, hear him, him, but we can hear him, and so he. If you see us looking off into space, it's because Nate's usually talking to us. Uh, we're we, there. Nate was telling us they're adding the Boone docu series to where at Nate on the IMCA TV, TV YouTube page. It will be on the YouTube page for free. It'll be on more likely on Facebook for um, limited for free. very yeah, limited time. So yeah, that's like a five hundred dollar so, value. It's for such free. a cool deal too. It is so it's great. That was so well Four done. Four episodes are awesome. So hit the like button on our IMCA TV YouTube page. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and like. Subscribe, subscribe and, and like. like. People go like this. Subscribe and like. 
Yeah. And four episodes only takes you an hour to get through. Down here. It good. is. Hit that button Those episodes there. are almost, all four of them combined are almost as long as me and a podcast. Or driver's meeting. <laughs> driver's meeting. Back when I used to do driver's meetings at the Super Nationals. Who? I don't do them anymore. A lot of yells at me. <laughs> but you just like to hear yourself talk, don't you? Yeah, they weren't, you're, they you're, weren't as, you're waking them up. I think he probably starts his driver's meetings about the time Dave sets on a new adventure, Jim. <laughs> they travel together accordingly. My driver's meetings aren't as attaining, entertaining as Lottie's are. No. No. They, hey, you they stupid. Were... You stupid. You up there stupid in the red the, hat with that. The red hat. And a catwalk. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You stupid. Can't you hear me? You deaf. You dumb. Get off that catwalk. Get a pit pass. Oh, I mean, you Michael, like oh my gosh! Week. Oh no, that's I'm happened. A, yeah, that's, that's happened. That's happened. <laughs> oh yeah, he's done that in the booth before. He's come out and chewed our ass a couple oh, times. Oh yeah, well, the yeah. You, you with the red hat. You know, coming up this week. What is it? The <laughs> you Friday the twenty second time. Casa Grande, Clay Hill Motorsports Park. Then Saturday, Heart of Texas, one hundred five Central Arizona, Clay Hill, Cocopa, Cottage Grove, Diamond Park, Henry County, KSB, Marysville, Merced, Mojave Valley, Southern Oklahoma. Two dollar pistol speedway, Ventura, boom. That's this weekend. That's this weekend. You're on the Google Drive, aren't you? Are Jim? you going to be at all those, Jim, or just one? You're on the Google. Oh no, he, he's rehearsed that. He, he sounded like that guy at the end of the infomercial where oh, these are not <laughs> lots of racing already starting. Here yes. we go. Lots of racing. It's on like yep. Donkey Kong. Yep. I got a really important question. I think we might have talked about this. Go ahead, caller. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. That's why, I, that's why I saved this one from like the I last prefer Pepsi. 10 episodes. Coke. Yeah, exactly. You, you prefer Nate, Coke? You're, Nate, you're a Coke. Coca-Cola kind of guy? Coke. He, oh, that's right. You're on your... You prefer yeah, Coke? you're on your... He's, for Lent... Straight, for Lent straight uh, whiskey? For Lent... Uh, Nate gave up a lot well, of stuff that uh, haven't they proven that Coke will clean your windshield off though? That's got it's like chemicals have. in Coca-Cola. it. It'll like it'll, clean it'll, the pipes out of your, you know, clean the drain of your house. It does. A, it'll Coke take Coca Cola will take the corrosion off a of battery. Right. It is so incredibly. For some reason, they guy. say dark sodas are so like incredibly Pepsi. bad for your kidneys. You right. really shouldn't drink them. I had somebody tell me that just last week. They said, oh, "I can't uh, can't drink dark soda anymore. I have to drink clear because my kidneys." I'm like, "Oh my!" I tell you, when I really got mad at Coca Cola is when they changed the color of the Sprite bottle to clear. Because now because now you can't <laughs> mix a drink. You can see and the whiskey. You can it. see the whiskey <laughs> in the Sprite bottle. Oh, them bastards! Seven Up is still the best because it's still a green bottle, and you can take some in in a flask, mix it up. Yeah, but you can still see the brown whiskey well, Ryan, through that. What are you drinking, Ryan? Right now, I'm drinking a Rockstar. Which is good. I That's a good drink, right? There. Zero sugar, f- creamy fruit punch, or whatever they well, call it. Well, I like the, the whipped strawberry, whipped but strawberry, they don't yeah. seem to have that very many places. That's good. I'm, like a, I'm a Pepsi whipped? guy. <laughs> I'm more of a Pepsi guy, a cherry Pepsi, as opposed to just regular. You're a lemonade guy. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm a Coke. Lemonade in the summer. Yes. Coke, Dr. Pepper. No, Dr. Dr. Pepper's Pepper. good. And right now, I'm, and the reason I bring this up is I'm a little pissed off at Subway right now. Oh, boy. What happened? They're switching to all of the Subway stores from Coke to Pepsi. Have you not, do you I'm not done. know this? I don't go to I Subway I don't go to anymore. Subway like Jim does. I Listen, I live Jim. in Vinton, no, Iowa. not anymore. Have you ever, Jimmy John's you guys four blocks have, from my house. I, I know, Jimmy John's. Night. You guys, yeah. yes, you Jersey guys Mike's. live in civilization. Here in Vinton, we don't live around Fire civilization. Firehouse subs. We have Subway and Pizza Ranch. Like one other place. You know, thankfully, I would, I, I tell thankfully you what, I we have out, Casey's. I, I would have moved Casey's out of town. Casey sells Coke and Pepsi, but you can't go to Subway now and get a Coke, a cherry Coke. But do they have ice in their ice machine? That was always yeah, my issue when there I was here. It's, it's like have an ice cream or, machine and it working. Or going <laughs> there over lunch. They're switching to Pepsi. Take some 40 minutes to. If, I tell you, if I run a racetrack, I would have Coke. But do you know why most a Absolutely. lot of tracks have Pepsi? It's because it's a better seller. Yeah, it is. A lot of places. Yeah, you can, you can attest to Mountain that. Dew. It's, it's sweeter. Dew. Because of Mountain Dew. Yes. It's, it's sweeter. Is. But if you don't have Coke, you don't get Dr. Pepper. That's, um, that's different. That's but it, but Dr. no, Snap. see, you They're can, completely different companies. If I have, From Coke? Yeah. yeah. Dr. Pepper is Dr. Pepper Snap. Diet, it used to be Diet Diet right or, no. it's like, Dr. Yeah, Pepper is Snap. Usually, seven usually seven if you have Sun Coke, you, they've got Dr. Pepper. Ask, you know, got, ask Scott Hogan with Dr. Pepper. But usually so you, if you so, go to a place that has Pepsi, they don't have Dr. Pepper with it. So through not my, a lot so of them. So if I had Fountain, if I had Fountain soda. What's Jim saying? Here we go. your individual contract. Yeah. What are you laughing about, It is a contract, but if I sold. The Cola Wars. The Cola Wars. But if I sold Fountain. I sold fountain Pepsi drinks at the Speedway. 
they I can buy the Dr Pepper syrup bags through Pepsi and sell it, but I can't I can't buy bottles and sell bottles of Dr Pepper. Well, that's fascinating, Jerry. He absolutely bet. I mean, yeah, I mean, think about it because, I mean, and that's a big decision for racetracks too. because you I mean, can't sell a, you can't sell both. You can only sell one or the other, right? Who cares? <laughs> no shit. Wow. Who cares? I, Casey Holy sells crap. both. That's that all that matters. Store, when right? I go to Casey's and, and get gas, I can get a Coke. If I would be pissed off if I went to Casey's and couldn't buy a Coke, wouldn't you? I mean, if no, you, I wouldn't. Yeah, but you go to Casey's for the for that. When you go to Subway, you're going for the sandwich and the drink. No. And the no. drink is who gets it, who eats without drinking something. No, but I mean. But it's not the like the draw you're, it's not, isn't yeah. the Pepsi or Coke. The draw is the bread. The I meat, disagree. The it's not like you're going in no. for the Coke foot long. Yeah, right. You're I going, going in for that. the. It's, 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 it's going to detour me from Subway. I think it's a part of the package. Correct. But, and I think part of it is a lot of people that go and Subway. In, I'm pissed at you because when they, there's no Jimmy Johns in this <sighs> town, not so I have to eat that, Subway because otherwise they'd eat Jimmy Johns. No offense. See, there you go, Nate. I I don't even like Subway, but it, I mean, yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they do make sub they sandwiches. They do, and a lot of Casey's times, has very good subs. Well, You're absolutely go to right. Subway, so guess where I'm going to get my sub now? I'm going to get it at Casey's. There's a lot well, of plate people where I get that my pizza. Go. Casey's. Casey's does everything good. I think, but well, whatever. You know, I mean, I love their subs and I love their pizza. And they, they got every once in a while, I get a they big them damn for cheesy Casey's nuggets. Tenderloin. Them damn cheesy nuggets, yeah. and tater nuggets, whatever they call <laughs> them. Breakfast things. pizza. Breakfast pizza. Oh, uh, it's no wonder I'm. I went to a Casey's in Des Moines about a month ago, and I'm standing in line, and the manager looks up at me and says, you ready to go racing? <laughs> I'm like, do you know me? <laughs> I know you from Marshalltown and Boone. You're in that's, Boone every week. That's right? awesome. Everybody knows Ryan. Yeah. Yes. But no, what, the, back to the Casey's thing, I know a lot of people that will go just to buy a sandwich. They don't even get a drink, regardless what they have. They get just the sandwich. Yeah. Or maybe a bag of chips or a cookie. I have, don't, to, but I have to drink something when I'm I do too, Usually but it's I soda or water. I, don't, I can't I drink to. beer when I'm drinking, when I'm eating. But if I'm eating, You're not a I beer have drinker, are you? Not generally, no, but especially not so when, I, when I'm did, eating. Did Crown Royal come out with a beer? They should. <laughs> they should. Like an they, IPA. They have, have premixed things in the can. An IPA oh, yeah. that tastes like Crown Royal. Every time my wife wants to go, well, my wife's not a big craft beer person, but we go to those craft beer places with friends. Yeah. And every time I go in, I ask the same thing. Which one tastes like Crown and Coke? And they're like, none of them. Like, all right, I guess I'll take the one that tastes like strawberry shortcake. You know, I mean, the weird shit that they make beer taste like. Some of it's kind of good. Oh, there's a cotton candy beer that they have at Some State of Fair. it's not kind of good. Uh, it's actually, it actually is pretty good. They cotton mix, they mix, beer. yeah, so they, then you mix it with another one and it's, it's just so oh, confusing to go to, get to go to a place that sells beer that tastes like raspberries. Why? You, you know, know what I like to drink? Whatever. Victory Fuel. Ah, oh, yeah, I do too. Hey, we'll, raise we'll your hand if you've bought it online. Stuff. Raise your hand if you've bought it online and have had it shipped. What's that? Victory Fuel? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm getting like a... Raise your hand if you that are getting a punch, pallet shipped. That, well, <laughs> that, can you get one from me? That, yeah, that, I can. That fruit punch, I think it's called throttle punch. Oh, that is the lemon. The lemon's good, but the throat, the that the punch one is the bomb. I know. I run out of that stuff when I drink it. I'm like, oh god, I gotta buy some more. I buy two cases. I know. Where I, I get you some on Friday. You buy two cases. A fine I started drinking them. They are, and I started drinking. Uh, I started drinking them at Super Nationals last year. Yeah. Cody Malico got me them. I'm like, where'd you get these from? He said, I'll Swindell. I'm like, oh. That's first thing. They I had thought. that for sale, didn't they? Didn't they yeah, have it? They, there we sold it. Yeah. I mean, we sold a lot of it. But yeah, to Super Nationals. Last I remember year. when he said, "Here, try this," and I'm like, "Oh, it is a, some seltzer thing." And I it's went, good. Oh, oh, where's the rest of this at? It's good. So yeah. So plus, are. his car also won the, the Chili Bowl this year, right? Mm-hmm. I think I think I, I actually talked to him the other day. Enough of that to be dangerous on knowledge. Not much though. We should sanction midgets. <laughs> Why not? There's so many of them. <laughs> Even Nate's smiling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why not? What the heck? I think Kevin Ramey's got one for sale. I know. I wanted to drive or it. Or two or three. Bowl, put IMCA all over it. See how many times I could flip it. You could rent. Hey, yeah. for for pennies on the dollar, you could rent what you could rent a ride for the chili you bowl. Gotta make sure that my helmet's on tight and my seatbelts are working. Yeah, don't. If yeah, there's yeah. anybody who can destroy a race car, it's this. Oh guy. yeah. Hell yeah. I what'd, know, you, I, what'd you do with Chili Bowl? I went to the first session of Monday morning practice. Why? Because Brett was in it, and I, I didn't want to miss the. I didn't want to miss the carnage. I know how to turn right. <laughs> turn <laughs> just at the wrong time. Gas it and stand it up on the right <laughs> rear, and how long end up talking, the, Nate? End up into the top row rowdies or something. 
Oh God, we've been oh, talking oh my God. about nothing. Uh, we lost your mom about an hour ago. <laughs> we did. We? My mom's eighty three <laughs> now. Yeah. She turned eighty two an hour and fifteen minutes ago. Anyhow. No. But once again, we you know, we've got a month. lot of lot yeah, of great events coming up. Yep. You know, Frostbusters right around the corner. The big, big, big show at Dodge City Raceway Park. Um we got all kinds of shit coming up. And I can't wait. We were here on 220 for Brett's birthday, 320 for his mom's 420 birthday. 420's the next 420. one. 420. Yes. 420, right? We're going to smoke them up next month? Yeah. Is that like a marijuana thing or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's our Bob Marley podcast. Yeah. Is there, I, can't, I can't keep up with all those code things. It's only been a code thing for 62 years. <laughs> I know, but if you don't smoke dope, you don't know it. But you I don't, don't smoke ha- okay. dope, but he, I still he, know Yeah, he it. doesn't smoke it, and he knows so, about so it. So, Jerry, could you explain this whole 420 deal there to us? There's so many yeah. different <laughs> variations. Well, so yeah. apparently, I, I mean, there's from. another five four, minutes of everybody's four, podcast and, and life. The, the best time for the people is 420, is four, you know, there's two... 4.20 a.m. or 4.20 p.m. on 4.20, which becomes like two national deals, I guess. You're supposed to do it at 4.20 or on 4.20? I don't, look it up. I don't, I don't know, know how it all started. I'm going to now. I don't know. These there things. were so this many is different. one I don't know. There's yeah, so many variations of yeah. how the 4.20 thing started. But, yeah, you'd say 4.20 and people, most people know that that's. We'd probably be better talking about that than politics. National Marijuana Day. Talk basketball. Yeah, we talk basketball. basketball. Yeah. Iowa is. Well, yeah, we could all go to Omaha. Iowa. We could go to Omaha and sit with Jim and watch the. You going to the games? You going yeah, you going to any, any oh, games? Oh, he's going to be in Michigan. I, oh, well, that's. The, I'll be back from Michigan tomorrow night. Yeah, you can see Iowa State hey, play. Good. You could see Drake you, play. Wahoo's Iowa State. The whole Iowa State basketball yeah. team is at the Super Nationals this last year. Yeah. 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 Wahoo's going to be there at the. Uh, they beat Houston in the Thursday. Well, Jim, Big was it twelve the championship? Big twelve championship. Destroyed Houston. Yeah, they, they had to win. They him. had to win. What they had to win three games in three days to win the Big Twelve deal, right? Championship. Who yeah. Iowa State? Yeah, yeah. but they were yeah. in the tournament anyways. Well, so. yeah, not, but I mean, right? Not like a North Carolina State. Yeah, that won like five NC games State. in five days. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. The NC State. No, because they beat Syracuse to start. They beat them like yeah, one of the first couple of teams. But they beat what? They also beat. Did they beat Duke? They beat Duke. They beat Duke. North, Virginia. In Virginia, and North Carolina. Virginia, North Carolina. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. So that's kind of a cool story. I did watch the NC State. I was going to the NIT, game. though. They won their opening game. I know. They beat Kansas State last night. They'll play at Utah this NIT. weekend. NIT. It's like a consolation bracket. Yeah, it's, it gives them more time to play. Yeah. It's like more experience. B team. Uh, All right. So real quick, Ryan, your prediction for the NCAA tournament. I don't fill out a bracket anymore. Uh, I used to actually I used to run a pool back in high school, and I think I did it here a couple of years. Were you the lifeguard? <laughs> <laughs> right, right I, 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 I could be because I have my Jerry floaty. I could, <laughs> but no, I, I like to watch the games just to be entertained and enjoy them. Whenever I filled out a bracket, sometimes I'd pick the teams that I didn't necessarily like, but I thought they'd win, and I caught myself cheering for teams I didn't like. So now I don't even fill out a bracket; just enjoy the games. I just want to know who's going to be. UConn is the overall odds on favorite. Yeah, UConn is. So they won't win it. I just want to know who the new the next Gonzaga is. You know, there's always that team every year that's like, oh, they compare them to Just Gonzaga. pick the mascots. My oh, wife oh, has yeah. a lot of bracket for work. Gonzaga is traditionally good. You need a, a 16 no, that's going to be the one. Yeah, what I'm saying is. Gonzaga is going to be the point. next Gonzaga. Yeah, who's going to be the next one? Because they were always, they started that whole, you know, 16. And then who's the next one? Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. 25 yeah, years. Yeah, exactly. Yes. They're not They're not a dark horse. You got Gonzaga no, to win their producer. Gonzaga he wants something. You know, always, a team that would everybody's be like, who's Gonzaga? What's that? Yeah, who, you quit asking that, that now. Who was, was the 16th like, that beat the one? Was that last year? Oh, yeah, there it's was one. It's happened twice. Year. Maryland, Baltimore County beat Virginia like four years ago, and Fairleigh yep, Dickinson yep. beat Virginia Purdue Virginia last year. It happened more than once. Yeah. I thought it just happened once. Twice. No, twice. Virginia won the national championship the year after they got After that, yeah. But didn't. That How one year, didn't St. Mary's have to play in, and then they, they, they went a couple rounds, or uh, I think like they've had a couple Final Four teams come from the first mm-hmm. four. I, well, Shaka I, Smart did it the first year they had it with, yeah. uh, who was that? VCU. Yeah, back in the day. I got a question. You so there's what sixty four teams in sixty eight. Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Sixty eight. So, like, of the sixty eight teams, men's teams. Mm-hmm. How many of those men's teams would Caitlin Clark be the starting guard on if she actually played with the men? 
I don't None. know. I mean, I don't, None. Could, you don't that's think just, she's that that's good just like saying which college team could beat an N, the worst NBA team. It's too different. It's it, ain't, it ain't gonna happen. That'd be, like saying, that'd be like saying which next standout has been paid X amount of dollars for endorsements, got free college, and they're not gonna finish because they put themselves in the NBA portal. She's done, but she. But again, she's I'm not, very. She's great. Yeah, she she's has awesome. done a lot for women's basketball. A lot. I, I think she's oh, done absolutely. a lot for basketball, basketball. all in general. In, in general, men's and women. More than she'll ever get credit for, right. or at least maybe not as much as people realize. But she's in a generational type person right. to watch play basketball. It's crazy. She shoots from the logos and makes it, right. and it's just nuts. She's you know, it's like watching Steph Curry in the pros. To me, yeah. Steph Curry is right. a very very unique player. He's the gold standard when it comes to oh, accurate abso- distance absolutely. shooting. You know, and, and women's basketball, who who can you say that about? You know, you know I went to the, the – did you go to the girls' state tournament at all this year? I'm sure there no, were. No. I, I went I, to the girls' state tournament and watched three games there one night, and you could see the impact Caitlin Clark has had yeah. on the game at that level because there were so many – not just three point shots taken, but they were accurate, and that was the focus around the game. You never sure. used to see that, but you can tell that she has yep. had an Im- impact at every level of the game. Yeah. Jurgen's texting you know, text me last night about the Iowa State. I was yeah, we're still talking. Jurgen's texted me last night about the ISU, t- ISU team coming to the Super Nationals, and he said they want to come back again this year. I'm like, yeah, they're always welcome. That'd be yeah. pretty cool. It'd be nice to see Iowa State get far in the tournament. Yeah, I agree. Why I not? Agree. You know, I got their song added to the playlist. That uh, so what's that song I had you add? Iowa State plays with their wrestling meets and their basketball. Oh, I can't the remember. Get, yeah, uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I know which one you're yeah. talking about. Well, any more racing stuff to talk about? Mm. Nate's got to go home. He's got go. You got, you got to make another <laughs> We've been baby talking or enough. what? <laughs> you have an appointment? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's falling asleep been, over there. I've seen him yawning three or four times. Well, he's had a long I, day. I got Imagine a flight. He had, that are listening. He, he had to get up before Chris today. Yeah. Oh, like that's tough. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> yeah. Most Dave of the Ward, world gets up Dave before Ward him. Dave can get up before Chris. <laughs> so, I don't have anything else to talk about. I've talked enough. You need to do something with your dogs, Jerry. I don't know what you fed them, but all I smell is dog farts over here. <laughs> Unless it's you. No, it ain't me. They got some new treats. Uh, Man. Virginia got them some treats. and they Nothing's, right. nothing smoking on the floor. No, there's no, yeah. there's no, uh, no, no uh, we're good. steaming bag of <laughs> Jerry. Let them out and just spray air freshener Man. and we're good in here. Yeah. I thought it smelled normal. Jerry, take us out. Well, it's been a great time. We'll be back for number five here. I, it'll be before the 420 mark. We'll come back after. We get some racing in. Remember, hit that replay pass. Check out some great IMCA racing in person or on IMCA TV. See you next time.